What's going on you guys, it's Five Season Sports checking back with another video and I'm pretty sure it's safe to say Coach Prime has everyone on the edge of their seats just waiting for the season to start. Are they going to dominate or not is the real question. And this made me think, Coach Prime is playing chess, not checkers. And there's a reason why he managed to pull multiple players from the same teams. So in this video, we're going to discuss all the players Colorado managed to pick up that played on the same team and how this can make a huge impact on how quick this team can develop and turn around after a 1-11 season. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button like the horn when somebody cuts you off in traffic and subscribe so you can join the conversation and give your opinion as soon as we drop a new video. Now let's hop into it. So in this video, I thought it was a good idea to go over the moves Coach Prime has made this offseason in a limited time span and by making waves in college football by skillfully pulling talented players from the transfer portal, mainly those from the same teams. So let's dive right into the details and explore how he's transforming Colorado football. It's pretty much known that Coach Prime brought his skills and NFL expertise to the coaching scene. His approach to building a strong team at Colorado has been methodical and highly calculated. One of his strategies involves targeting players from the same team in the transfer portal. And to be honest, this has to be the smartest move any coach has made this offseason in order to improve and turn their team around. So with that being said, I compiled a list of some of the notable players Coach Prime has successfully recruited from the same teams. So let's take a look. First, we have the infamous players from Jackson State. These players already know what to expect from Coach Prime and will basically be the backbone of this team. In total, he brought a strong number of nine transfers from this program. These players include Shador Sanders at quarterback, Travis Hunter who will be playing offense and defense, Cameron Silman Craig at safety, Tyler Brown on the interior O-line, Shiloh Sanders at safety as well, Willie Gaines at wide receiver, Jeremiah Brown at linebacker, and also Alejandro Mata who's leading the specialists along with the All-American long snapper, Jacob Polite. Next, we have Florida State with a total of five players, and those include Derek McLennan at the edge, Travis Jay in the secondary, Bishop Thomas on the interior D-line, Brendan Gant who plays linebacker and a little bit of safety, and then we finish it off with the Marion Cooper at corner. The Florida boys are probably the most versatile group joining this new system, and there's no reason why they shouldn't hit the ground running and contribute fairly quickly. The rest of the players have about two players each, but this is extremely important to note because each of these players who come in pairs have a strong relationship on and off the field. From USF, they brought in Xavier Weaver and Jimmy Horn Jr., who both play wide receiver and were probably the best wideouts on their team. I made highlights of both of these guys on my channel, so go check that out if you haven't already. From Ole Miss, we managed to land Kendrick Bredlove, who plays corner, and also JJ Hawkins, who plays anywhere on the D-line. Both of these guys are underdogs on the roster, and I'm pretty excited to see how they can fit into this stack lineup. The University of Kentucky lost two players to Colorado, and that includes Cavasse Smoke at running back, and also Vito Tisdale who plays safety. From Alabama, we have two guys who were close friends and bought into the mission with Coach Prime, and that's Demoy Kennedy at linebacker, and Jaquez Robinson at corner. Sean Lewis brought some major talent from his offensive line at Kent State, and these guys actually have a great bond on and off the field. Bringing in Jack Bailey and Savion Washington is probably the most impactful move because on the offensive line you have to play as one unit. Building that continuity will be very difficult for the linemen in such a short time, but these guys will make that factor a lot easier. Both Jordan Dominic and Miles Slusher make their way from Arkansas playing on defense, and they both bring a strong level of SEC experience and knowledge. On this new team, that'll make a huge impact playing really great teams like USC. As you can see, Coach Prime has methodically targeted players from certain universities, enhancing their team chemistry and continuity among these players. By bringing in teammates who already have experience playing together, Coach Prime ensures a seamless integration for these players into the program and minimizes the likelihood for a rough learning curve with this new system. Recruiting players who have already built a bond on and off the field is a tremendous advantage. They bring a level of familiarity, trust, and camaraderie that truly takes time to develop. And we all know Coach Prime doesn't have a lot of time. They want to win now, and by leveraging these existing connections, we can fast forward team cohesion and accelerate the development process. Coach Prime's philosophy is pretty clear. Building a successful team is not about individual talent, but about fostering strong relationships within the squad. By uniting players who have already demonstrated the compatibility, Coach Prime is creating a solid foundation for Colorado football and sending out that bat signal to other high-level players who are on the fence about coming to Boulder. The impact of Coach Prime's methodical approach is evident in his training sessions. The players who were once rivals on the field are now working together with ease, creating a highly competitive and motivated team who will be hard to beat even when adversity knocks at their door. 
but with that being said that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think is it a good idea taking advantage of the transfer portal or will we see a mass exodus of these same players leaving the program next season as always thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one